Well, folks, in today's video, we're going to be working on this vintage Tyco Santa Fe locomotive. This uh, locomotive was uh, sent in as a gift from a gentleman by the name of Charles Cummings. Um, it currently doesn't work. I believe it has some sort of a, a transmission issue. But I believe with a little bit of work, we'll be able to get this locomotive going again. It could be a fine runner. Anyway, let's get started by uh, testing it. So let's uh, set her up on the track here and see w exactly what the situation is. As I remember, uh, just spun up, yeah. So you can see the lights coming on and you can definitely hear activity from the motor, but uh, it is certainly not running. So uh, most likely the pivot gear in this locomotive has uh, become undone and uh, just needs to be put back into place. So let's get to that. All right, so to get started on this locomotive, we're just gonna begin by uh, removing this whole front uh, piece here. And we'll uh, see what's going on inside there. Um, let's clip off of here. And uh, with a little bit of effort, we can just kinda push in these two pieces. We can wiggle this off. And, uh, oh, there we are. And uh, what we see, there's just enough space between this gear that it allows all of this to turn but uh, you can see the uh, main gear. Well, it's turning a little bit right now, but when this motor spins up, uh, it definitely isn't. So we'll need to correct that. But uh, yeah, also uh, we're gonna do a general cleaning because I do see some old grease and stuff like that. So let's open up the uh, rest of the loco here. All right, there we are, okay. So uh, this all doesn't look too bad, but my uh, my main concern is uh, these gears right here can be a little bit of a mixed bag in uh, my experience. Uh, this, these ones don't seem too bad, but I've, uh, I've had instances where these gears have really been uh, stuck into place with old grease and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, we just want to very gently get these gears up there and uh, just sort of you know, lift them off here. Yeah, this one's not, sometimes these are really stuck on there, but uh, in this case, they don't seem to be uh, all that bad. Anyway, let's uh, lift off this last gear. And uh, yeah, really all of this, uh, it needs to be cleaned, but this is way, way better than uh, what I've seen in the past. I've seen some uh, real nightmares on these motors before. And uh, right here, um, We'll check out the commutator and motor as well. The motor actually sounded pretty good in this locomotive, so I'm not terribly concerned about it, but uh, we'll check it anyway. So I'm gonna pull this motor out, I'm gonna go clean all these parts, and then uh, when I'm back, we can begin reassembling it all. All right, I got all the parts cleaned up, and uh, they're not entirely dry yet, so while those dry, we'll work on uh, the motor here. And uh, David of DB Tech very generously sent in this. It's a uh, fantastic little product. It's a uh, carbon fiber pencil. And uh, for commutators, you can just sort of rub it around uh, on the metal and it will uh, polish it up. And uh, well, there we go. All right, so this is all dried. So we can now uh, begin uh, reassembling this whole thing. So we're gonna put some oil around here and here and also there. And uh, we can begin by putting these uh, two uh, smaller gears in. And these are turning great, which uh, is a really good sign. Uh, anyway, we're gonna coat the top of uh, this gear with some uh, oil here. And uh, well, just like that, we've pretty much got that whole part uh, properly reassembled. So that's good, so now I just need to get all the rest of it back in. So uh, this bit can be a little bit tricky sometimes because uh, a lot of times uh, these have been kind of soldered and it's made this whole thing quite messy, but uh, Today we should be able just to sort of lift these out, and then it will uh, we'll be able to put the uh, springs in somewhat more uh, properly there. And uh, once we got that in, we can just uh, drop in each of the brushes like so.
All right, I think our locomotive is complete. Let's go take it over to the track and tester. All right, let's set this thing up on the track and uh, see what we've got here. And it's a runner, look at that. Wow. It's uh, running very well for an old Tyco. It's uh, not making any weird noises. It's consistently picking up power. This is fantastic. Serenity. <laughs> Just, uh, yeah, just look at that. Amazing. You know, usually when I fix these things up, they're, uh, kind of working to an extent, but, uh, this one was just rearing to go. Well, I think we can call that a success. I want to, uh, thank you all so much for, uh, watching, and I want to thank, uh, Charles Cummings once again for sending in this locomotive. I am very pleased, uh, to have it running, and, uh, it was a lot of fun to work on. So with that, I will call it a wrap.